Who's going to help when the danger overwhelms and the mysteries are wild high? Who's going to help when the danger overwhelms and the mysteries are piled high? Who's going to give you down? Never going to let you down. Take you for a wild ride. Treasure always by your side. It's Greg of the Creek, he's going to see you today. It's Greg of the Creek, he's going to see you today. Some kids, instead of uh, you know just being a lone wolf again, after when he no longer needs to, when he and Michelle no longer need to guard the creek, uh, and uh, you're probably also happy to see him join the stump kids. But uh, yeah, the unfortunate thing about that is, uh, I mean, yeah, it would be nice if they just modified the intro a little bit to include Omar and the stump kids. But uh, you probably know how uh, you know his bad appearance. Season 9 did a minor attempt to move. Grand Division Tragic had a whole bunch of character, new characters come in. And the new setting, they had a new they had an opening sequence for Season 8 and 9. After the two part premiere Season 8. Um, yeah, so uh, the point is, yeah, I'm uh, Unfortunately, I, I checked and the season four intro, and I'm, I'm sorry, but Omar, sorry they didn't include Omar there in the new title sequence of seasons four and five. That's okay. I mean, it's nice to hear he joined the stomach. I mean, it's kind of cool that the stomach is I remember, even though I really wanted to be Alexis. But yeah, it's, uh, I mean, Omar, Zeno Robinson, he's not. He's not going to be with them full time. He's, uh, and the situation is, you know, Robinson is with Omar and the role he has after joining some kids. I mean, I guess it's there's a secondary role where he's just with them some of the time, like like when Monday McLean Kobe voices Nancy Green in Big City Greens. You know, she's a uh, you know mother of uh, Hooker and Tilly and. Uh, you know, Nancy and Bill Green are forest friends, and I mean, Nancy does become a great character after uh, after her debut roles of Phoenix Rises and and uh, Uncaged, but she lives in. But uh, you know, she she. But she lives in a tra but she lives in her own trailer, separate from uh, separate from the house of Bill and, and Grandma and Alice. So so going forward, I only see Nancy with the other four main characters in the Green family for about half of the episodes. Which makes sense because Wendy McLennan Covey uh, has a bigger live action role that takes more time uh, where she plays, uh, you know, she plays Beverly Goldberg on the Goldbergs, which is a, a you know a primary role in that show. So it makes sense why, her, you know, she's available to, uh, to Work as a voice actor part time in Big City Greens, but not full time. Oh yeah, so yeah, back to oh, so yeah, back to Omar. Um, so yeah, I guess the thing with Omar is, uh, yeah, there, yeah, there are twenty six, there are twenty six uh, 
Rubik's Cube puzzle pieces that some kids in Omar can use to find the map. To find the map, to find the map to put together, which is basically the other thing I thought was myself, but it turns out it's actually 26 because, of, like, if there were 27 pieces, you couldn't see the one piece in the absolute center that's covered by the other 20, surrounded by the other 26. right when he said there were 26 pieces of it. Oh yeah, so I came here to explain a few tidbits of further information that I forgot to explain that I didn't really know before because like parts of the episode were revealed but now the full episodes are available to watch online somewhere. Uh, um, yeah, it, so, so, so here are the few things I didn't know about beyond the over about things I didn't see, crucial bits of information that I didn't see in, in, beyond the, in Beyond the Overpass and Lost in the Sewer. I mean, in Beyond the Overpass and Sink or Swim Team, one I originally made that video about uh, Craig the Creek giving the sewer queen for one episode, which I thought was, uh, which I thought Karen Pukahara definitely deserved to have after. again and uh, yeah and in, the, and in sink or swim team the sewer queen Eileen said that she uh, yeah her mom who sounds like Pearl from Stephen Universe told her that she needed to take some uh, extra curricular like to swim because uh, you know she's not that she doesn't feel especially unique as a, another swimmer and you know, she doesn't feel special or unique as another swimmer and Uh, you know, she knows where she truly belongs. She knows she works better as a steward kid than a pool kid because she's a great leader. She's a she's a wonderful, intelligent hot leader, and a lot of uh, a lot of other uh, a lot of other underground steward kids uh, look up to her. They really look up to her as queen, and that's. And that's why she likes it, at, and that's why she likes it at the she likes it at the creek. She likes having it to get to uh, help keep safe in the tours. So I, I, I guess in a way, Eileen is a, a Higley Town hero of the 
tours. And when, when Craig went to Eileen's house, and when Craig went to Eileen's house, JP and Kelsey think, uh, oh yeah, yeah, Kelsey thought that would, yeah, Kelsey thought that Craig was visiting Eileen's house and eating dinner with her because, uh, well, Kelsey thought Craig was, Kelsey thought Craig wanted a taste of what it's like to be royalty, even though, even though the Seward Queen Eileen's family isn't actually a royal family, isn't, they're not really royal, they don't really outside of the creek which I'm very sure is also true for the family of Kenneth, Cheyenne, and Xavier. They, that's just something they, or at least Xavier, liked to make believe when he was the king. Yeah, Kelsey thought Craig Williams was on a dinner date with Eileen because he wanted to know what it's like to be royalty. He was going to marry her and become the steward king. And JP was angry because he wanted to be the, because because uh, Craig should, because uh, Craig promised he would get to be the best man at their wedding. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, the whole, but yeah, this, uh, but yeah, the conflict of mis of comedic misunderstanding between the stump kids and the sewer kids, uh, it really helped, a, it really livened up Lost and, I mean, it really livened up Sink or Swim Team for me because If this script was in the wrong hands of a worse writer, having a Craig of the Creek episode about Eileen's family could be as dull as a close enough episode of World's Greatest Teacher, which is why I'm extremely thankful that it wasn't, and Karen Fukuhara didn't get busy with the bigger role that, where she would, with the bigger role live action or animated that would cause her to have scheduling conflicts with Craig of the Creek and be recast with the, with the lesser known actress of that's the same ethnicity as her. It sounds like her, like, uh, like, uh, can you before your Grace Rolex? Also, but also, here's a really funny thing about, uh, Beyond the Overpass. One of those, uh, one of those roller skate kids, <laughs> she sounded to me a lot like, uh, Amethyst of Steven Universe, but it turns out she's not really Michaela Diaz who voices Michelle, the green poncho before Omar. She's actually Charlotte Takashi Chung, the, the same girl who voices Justice and Kat. <laughs>